Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So in this video we have our double digit divisor long division mastery check where you get to see and test yourself to see if you know what you're doing when it comes to long division with double digit divisors. If you're looking for a little more help or instruction check out my instructional video for long division with double digit divisors. I dropped the link down in the description and then you can come back to this mastery check Try some on your own to see if you have it mastered. If you're uh, not familiar with how the mastery checks go on my channel, you should have something to write with and uh, something to write on. You will solve these problems here in a few seconds when I say press pause. And then when you're ready, press play and check your work with mine. Your goal is to have three or four correct out of the four. Okay, so if you are ready, Go ahead and press pause. All right, welcome back. You should have those four problems complete. I am gonna go through them with you and uh, check your work with mine and you will see how you do. So 25 divided by 12, two whole 12s. Two times, 20, two times 12 is 24, subtract I get one. Bring down my two. And then I get to 12 divided by 12, which is one. And one times 12 is 12. So 12, 12 minus 12 is zero, remainder of zero. You should have an answer of 21. Number two, we have a divisor of 25 and a dividend of 975, 975. So how many whole groups of 25 can we pull out of 97? That would be three. Three times 25 is 75. Subtract, we get two. Nine minus seven is two. Bring down my five here. 225 divided by 25 is nine. Nine times 25, we hit 225 exactly. So remainder of zero, you should have 39 for number two. So hopefully two for two. If not, if you're not two for two, hopefully you're seeing where your mistakes are or where you are getting held up at. So number three, we have 6,425 divided by 31. So how many groups of 31 out of 64? Maybe you had some work off to the side, that's fine. Or you thought 31 times two is 62, that's as close as I can get, and it is a two. Multiply, subtract, I get a two, bring down a two. How many groups of 31 can I pull out of 32? Well, I can't do it, so I need a zero here. Zero times 31 is zero. Subtract, I get 22, bring down this five. So I get 225 divided by 31. Now, you probably don't know your 31 facts, so you might need to estimate, or you should have estimated and checked. So I know 31 times 10 is 310, so I need to scale it back a little bit. Let's try eight. We get eight, 248, a little too high. Oops, I forgot to put 310 there. So let's try seven. 31 times seven, we get 217, which is as close as we're gonna get. So it's gonna be seven here and 217. We get a remainder of eight. So 207, remainder eight. And see, took some work off to the side here, used, used estimate estimation and checking to get that answer and that is fine so number four we have 264 divided by 48 we cannot do 2 divided by 48 can't do 26 divided by 48 so we need to look at the 264 estimate and check so i know 48 times 10 is 480 so i'm about half of that so i'm going to start with five and that gives me to 240, which is pretty close. And that's actually it, but just for, uh, let's see, six, how close we get there. That'd be 48, that'd be 288, 
which is obviously too high. So it's going to be a 5. And make sure the 5 is above the 264, not above the 2, not above the 26. 5 times 48 is 240. Subtract, you get remainder 24. So your quotient would be 5, remainder 24. So that's it for the double digit divisors mastery check. Hopefully you had three or four correct out of the four. Um, and if you are ready to move on from long division of whole numbers, single and double digit divisors, you are ready to divide decimals. I dropped the link down to that video down in the description. So I will see you over at dividing decimals next. Thanks for watching.